All right, start the timer. Hi, I'm Kaylee, and I was very put off by this movie. <laughs> My problem is. <laughs> <laughs> My problem is, is this movie scared. really upset me. So if you haven't seen the movie, you'll have no idea what we're talking about. No. Um, so, Mother May I? Mother May I? No, you may not. May I'm I? not your mom. I That's not know. my mother. No. <laughs> so this is the second film in our Kyle Gallner, Gallner uh, double header that we <laughs> yep. that we watched back to back. Uh -huh. And uh, Kyle's made quite the name for himself in horror. Um, yes. He's been in a ton of stuff. A ton of stuff from The Haunting in Connecticut. Jennifer's oh, body yeah. to freaking that's, I Nightmare on Elm Street. I about the hunting in Connecticut. Like, that's funny. And then obviously most recently Smile yeah. and Screen 6. Yes. Um, he even made an appearance in freaking Walking Dead. And like mm. he's made a whole mess of uh, Red State. Um, whatever. Anyways. Um, so, you know, he, he made another one. And, and because we were really enjoying... His last movie that we just discussed, yep. uh, The Passenger, we were like, he's got another one. Let's throw it on. Yeah. And so this one, the last one was a little tougher because we couldn't really give the synopsis. Mm -hmm. This one, <laughs> this, is a, this is a trickier one as well, but um, a, a man's mother dies and he's he inherits. Mother. Yes, his estranged mother uh, and his strange mother. Yeah. Um, <laughs> he... Uh, he inherits her property after her death, and mm -hmm. he comes with his fiance. Although he refers to her as his girlfriend and his fiance in the movie, yeah, that was weird. Uh, yeah, whatever. I think if he calls her his fiance, I, I don't know if that just means like he's planning on it and he thinks she'll say yes. I don't know, but they go to the house to sell it, and while they're there, um, some changes start to happen. That's all I got. That's all I can say. <laughs> yeah. So, okay. Now, the last movie we just watched and talked about, The Passenger, we were saying drama thriller. Yes. This one is drama horror. horror but, like, the horror is not in your face, traditional kind of like jump scary it's type of psychological horror. horror. Very psychological. Yes. This movie could easily be like A twenty four. Oh totally. Or something along those lines. Totally. So. It just needs one of those trailers where they have like the bring, 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 <laughs> and then they're like doing stuff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I mean if you're somebody who is opposed to the slower burn psychological ambiguous you're gonna you know the movie ends and you go huh <laughs> you're not gonna like this then movie. this is not gonna be for you for, <laughs> at all but if you're somebody who really enjoys like a where you're questioning the mental state of people mm -hmm. and what's happening the entire film and a really <laughs> heavy focus on like mental illness and or supernatural but you are not sure which, honestly, that's like, if that's not really a subgenre, but I guess it is. Like, just the, I don't know what I would call that subgenre. Just psychological horror, it's psychological I guess. Psychological horror. But it's a very specific brand of psychological yeah. horror where it, it, it remains is it supernatural? Is it psychological? That for me, like a session nine yeah. or whatever, that for me is like easily top three favorite subgenres yeah, in it's, horror. So it's it, like this is totally my brand yeah. of horror. It's like our bread and butter. Yes. We love those kinds of films. And bro, I was questioning the mental state of myself of herself, watching yeah. this. She was really, really I was un, really upset during this film. this film. So this is that kind of film though that you'll watch and some of you will be like, this isn't scary at all. Yeah. Nothing's happening. And that's because you're saying <laughs> congratulations. Yeah, it's because you don't have any mental illness or family members with mental illness. You don't fear going crazy. Oh my God. That's it's, what it comes yeah. down to. Right? Honestly, yeah. People with anxiety conditions or a, a history of mental illness in the family who have an anxiety condition <laughs> because of it 
who fear that they're going to lose their minds, who fear losing themselves. That that scene in the in the mouth of madness yes. with, with Styles. Yeah. You know, I'm losing myself, John. So that stuff scary. is terrifying, right? We've talked about this so many times where, you know, the boogeyman or a monster or something like I can trust myself to fight that off and protect my loved ones yeah. and whatever. But the fear of me being the villain, the fear of my mental state breaking and me becoming a threat to my loved ones, to myself, to my to my legacy, to like my memory, to my children's memory of me, to you know, physically abusing my children or mentally or any of that stuff, like, you know, and it's not of my own volition. It, 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 it does not act, um, you know, in a, in a way that I can control. That stuff is terrifying to me. And I, and I think that if you're not somebody who fears that kind of stuff, if you're not, a, if you're not put off by the idea of losing your mind, right? You're like, I'm a sane person. Like, I don't ever fear that. Like, what do you get? then this is definitely not going to be the movie for you unless you're somebody who just can buy into characters and you don't have to have that fear, but the fear yeah. is sold to you in a way where you're like, yeah. okay, I get what if you guys are afraid of. Yeah, but this is like person. our biggest fear yes. is losing Plus, our minds. The other part of this film, which I don't know if this is, a, I don't think it's a spoiler, but like toxic relationships mm. or like, and that, it's kind of iffy. Like, this is also ambiguous, I feel like, because we were sort of talking during the film about the relationship that's going on in the movie um, and, like, whether or not it's healthy and stuff. And I yeah. definitely think it, it has these, like, moments where you're unsure, but then there's a lot of stuff that I just found to be very triggering and very, like, just toxic. And it, yeah. it was it was definitely upsetting in that sense. Um but yeah, like A twenty four is a good way to describe the the tone of the film. Yeah, it definitely has that vibe. The acting um, was really great from both of the main peoples. Yeah, both of the lead characters that we see, I was really like sucked into the story, sucked into like what was going on, trying to figure out what was happening, and. The ambiguity, I feel like, is really perfectly done because you are just left the whole time being like, is it this or is it this or is yeah. it a, something else? Yeah. And there's enough questions that are answered, which is obvious. This is always with ambiguous films. Like, you need to have enough answers yeah. that you don't feel lost, but also enough non answered questions that you, your brain, you know, has fun trying to fill in fill in the blanks and understand things further. Yeah. And I think this film does that. Yeah, absolutely. I, I definitely have questions. I have a lot of questions. But I don't have any frustrating questions, no. right, for myself. I think that mileage will vary for mm -hmm. sure. Some people will watch this. Kind of like, if I could bring up, you know, I don't want to say it's similar, but similar in that regard, there are certain films like Men, Mm. right where they leave off in this kind of like what did that mean what is yeah. this purpose but they leave you enough breadcrumbs there's enough threads that are that are that are still you know open and 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 there's enough there to grab and to explore and to interpret and to this is this is one of those great movies to watch with someone else who's into other films like this, right? Like into the A twenty four style of filmmaking, um, where it, it's an ambiguous, open ended uh, trek through mental illness, and to sit down after the movie and talk about different interpretations of things. Mm -hmm. If you're somebody who just wants like a fun popcorn movie, where you're just like, I just want to watch teen girls get naked and get slaughtered. And there's a million of those movies and you can have, go have at it. This ain't it. Um, and I'm not talking down to you or, or being dismissive. I love those movies too. Um, I just think, yeah, this is, this is one where in order for you to enjoy it, you're going to have to embrace the ambiguity, the slow burn, the mental illness, the potentially supernatural and be left scratching your head going, hmm, what just happened? 
Mm-hmm. And if you're not that kind of person who likes movies like The Babadook or whatever, you know, um, it could have been, you know, uh, the, why do I always blank on the title of this movie? The, the uh, Darkness? <laughs> what is that movie <laughs> the called? The Darkness? No, the, the, the Dark and the Wicked. Oh, The Dark and the Wicked. I always, yeah, that's funny. The, I don't know why you do. I always blank on that title for some Darkness. reason. It just it just does not stick in my head. But those kinds of movies, you know, I I just find that people. But there there's another movie that kind of reminds me of this. There's a couple, um, Lovely Molly, which we watched together, which is a found oh, footage yes. film. Uh huh. Where 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 yep. a partner is losing their mind. Yep. And you're like, is this supernatural or is this right. not? This is very Lovely Molly in that way. Yeah. Um, another film would be Honeymoon, which, uh, has one of the Treadway brothers, Treadwell, whatever the, Henry, I think it's the guy who from like Mr. Mercedes and, and, uh, the more famous one, Harry, Harry, I think is him and the other brothers, I can't remember their name, but the guy from, uh, Penny Dreadful and, Uh, um, the one that I thought (laughs) that the guy from Bird Box looked like. No, that's Josh Hartnett. Oh, <laughs> wait, who is he in Penny Dreadful? Does he play Frankenstein? Yeah. No, oh. not, no, not Frankenstein. God damn it. It doesn't matter. Let's just <laughs> I don't move know on to that. talking about, so I'm like, Isn't who? he on that? Mr. Mercedes, the, the freaking. Now you got me. I never saw Mr. Mercedes. I know, but so it, it's. I don't know it's who's in it. The Treadwell. He's got a twin. And I don't know who. Tread, Treadaway. Treadaway. How the hell do you say his name? Yeah, he plays Frankenstein. Is that what it is? He plays Victor Frankenstein, okay. doesn't he? Yeah, Victor Frankenstein. Yeah, yeah, that's what I meant. Yeah. Not the monster. That's no. what I thought when you said I oh, thought Frankenstein's no. monster. And I'm like, no, yes, okay, Frankenstein's monster. No, moving on. Uh, but him and and uh, Ygritte from freaking uh, Game of Thrones, Rose Leslie. Mm-hmm. Um, same thing. Just like a couple in a house, and a lot of questions about. Like what's going on? Yeah, a lot of open-ended things that are they're ambiguous, and I, I just those style of films, or even Miss. Well, no, not I was going to say Mister Jones, but like uh, just an isolated couple. Yeah, and weird things are problems. going on, and they don't know if they can trust each other. Yes, it's but this super one's scary. Once again, we've talked about this many, 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 many times now in 2023. This is the year. Of, of the, the mother. Mom. This it is really something is. about this year is all about moms. All about mommies. I mean, I could literally name probably thirty films off the top of my head that have I come know. out this year that are super mother centric. Yes, so, and a lot of them are really good too. Sure, the, all all the good ones of the year pretty much are are those. Our moms. Yeah. Um, but yeah, this this is an exploration of two two characters that both are dealing with traumas in the past in a way that is very destructive yes and uh yeah i I don't know what else to say on that but i i I just really love the exploration and this movie is gonna bomb for a lot of people this is gonna really be a a, a sleeper that is too too ambiguous too confusing too you know not enough there there kind of movie Mm. and for me this is just that right amount of breadcrumbs and eeriness because the film is very so... very uncomfortable oh my god i was so uncomfortable the whole film there's i mean like we said there's not like jump scares or anything but None. there's some imagery and just the way things are shot and the way characters are acting and speaking to one another i was so uncomfortable the whole film like the entire film yeah, movies like this, I mean, they're way more unsettling, scary to me than in like a insidious conjuring kind of movie that and that's nothing to take away from those movies. I like those movies. But just the like build, release, build, release, the ha, ah, you know, the thing in the corner or the thing that comes out of the painting, Valak or whatever. That's a different style. But it's it's those are more fun, right? You're like when you're watching it, you're more like they jump and you and you jump and you and then you laugh, right? I mean, I don't, but you know what I mean. Like people in the theater, they, <laughs> like, they like, oh, don't. oh god, oh god, here it comes, and I then it jumps laugh. and they go, ah, like, oh yeah, my god, I'm it's... an idiot. This is the kind of movie where it just you're just kind of creeped out 
and unsettled yes, the whole time. Subtle, yeah. And then the movie ends and you're just kind of like, you feel like I you need, need a to shower. Yeah, you, but it's like <laughs> you need to shower your brain. Yeah. And like your heart and stuff. Yeah. Um, and that's just so much more my style of horror. I just, I mean, yeah, I really like both, honestly. I don't know. I love both. But, don't get me wrong. I, I guess, just, I guess I have a lot to of the be movies, honest with I mean, myself. like the movies that I have in my top, like, you know, In the Mouth of Madness and Hereditary are more, but I don't know, though. Like, I guess Hereditary is. In the Mouth of Madness isn't like a jump scare movie, but it is more like, like creepy throughout. I would say, I don't it, know, but it has but there's a plenty, jump scares. It does have jump scares, and then I was thinking of the, I was thinking movie. of the thing, which is another one that has great atmosphere, obviously. But I feel like there's stuff in that that is like, so those are bad examples. And then there's Halloween, but um, yeah, I don't know. I love these movies. <laughs> I love these kinds of films too. The psychological horror with like subtle, ambiguous, like creep factor. I'm really into them. And this one just really hit like heavy with me. The content was very relatable in, in some ways. And it's hard to talk about without spoilers because I, I just feel like there's a lot going on in the film. And like maybe at some point in the future we can do like a spoiler discussion. That would be fun. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think a lot of people are gonna overlook it or you know watch it and not like it because it's too 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 ambiguous for them. But it isn't too ambiguous. Like if you like ambiguous films like us, I don't think it's too ambiguous. It just is too ambiguous for the people who aren't into those types of movies. I feel like this is a video where we were dared to say ambiguous forty five times we, in a review, yeah. and we're like trying to hit the quota. We're close, probably. <laughs> it's a, yeah, it's a, I don't know. I need to look. I need to go to you like a thesaurus, synonyms, thesaurus and look up synonyms for, for that. Um, I'm not saying it again. <laughs> not at all. But I don't know. There, there's, there's obviously movies like this that we watch that are they're too slow. They're too boring. They're too. <clears throat> <laughs> Um, they're too confusing that's what, really what it is i'm not your mother or whatever that we watched last year uh no not i'm not no that mother. one was good i'm talking the new me rapache or oh replace, mother, the, what's her name? not mother it was like lamb no not that one or the one where she's like it's back in time oh and she's yeah. like switching bodies what was that one called I thought mother was in the title. I did too. Like, I, I mean, it was I'm, like, I am your mother. It might be I'm oh, not Oh, I your am your mother? Because we watched a movie called, <laughs> like, a movie I'm Not called Your Mother. I'm not, and that was the one where, I'm like, the mother? woman was home and, like, the after it's death. The daughter. Right? Well, didn't she, like, die or something? And then the daughter, like, came home. Or she was just acting weird. Wait a minute. No, there was another movie that we watched about, like, That's Not My Mother. There's one that's, like, That's oh. Not My Mother. And the one I think that you're thinking about. The one that we that I'm thinking about has to do with fairies. Oh, what? Which is the one that not we my just mother. watched? No, this was last year. Oh, the one where like the people are like having sex in the car while they're dying. Is that the one you're talking about, where they're like <laughs> getting wrapped up in cocoons as they're fucking in the car? Yes, I think that happened in that film. Oh, man. oh my god, I feel like I have. You were not my mother. Is the one that? I'm... Yeah. That one. I like that one, but that's not what you're talking about. You're talking about the... No, this is not what I'm talking life. about. This is the one I was saying, where she comes home after her mother goes missing, and right. then her mother, like, comes back and yes. is acting weird. Yes, okay. Not dead, sorry, missing. Sorry, that's what threw me off. Terrible review. Oh, we're my just, God. We're the worst. This is no, not like this that is, film. This is unscripted, like we like it. Yeah, we're just If you don't like this style <laughs> of, of reviewing, go somewhere else. That's the, okay. The new me we don't need you. We do. Please subscribe. <laughs> we do need you. <laughs> but yeah, it is unscripted. Uh, the new me Rapache one though we hated. We oh were my God. so bored so by that bored. one. Now I gotta and find the name before we get out. <laughs> it was. This is not that though. It's, this is such a tense film. Like because the actors you are won't so be alone. Oh God! It didn't even have mother in it. <laughs> it started with you. You, yeah. Yeah, that's what it was. You won't be alone. I'm just trying to. It's cover about my a mom. Ass. The mom again, but um, no, she just kind of changes bodies throughout the movie. No, it doesn't she, matter. Okay, <laughs> let's just be done. <laughs> let's just jump off a cliff and be done with our, with our reviewing career. I was just career. gonna say that they're 
their acting is so strong in this and the writing is so strong and the atmosphere is so tense that like everything works really well other films it doesn't yeah just watch the film this is spoiler free and we've been saying like the same thing tiptoeing been just we've been looping watch it unless you're not in any of these guys movies don't watch it i disagree like it, we, my our point is to save people time even though our reviews are longer than the movie right so we didn't no. save you any time i apologize but that is the intention that's why we got to make it more five this is minutes. why our thumbnails need to be like thumbs up thumbs no, down then they don't even want to watch and then they just <laughs> and they just look at the thumbnail and they're like good now i know now i know they no there's got to be context do you like movies like this then this might be for you do you not like movies like this then this ain't for you okay that's the important thing that's yeah. what we're here to do all right do you not understand i understand <laughs> she's been with the channel for like two years and i have to explain the you don't have to explain anything to that's, me that's how it's <laughs> <laughs> mother may i no but yeah she was really creeped out during this uh, film and there's gonna be a lot of you who watch this and be like what is there to be creeped out about she's a wimp she's not a wimp this just hits her in a different place and yeah. you know some of the things that people are like oh my god too scary to finish she's yawning for oh, my god. this is just this just yeah it got to her yeah but she did. was really freaked out during this movie i was i was really uncomfortable which is good i mean that's why like i love when horror scares me of course right like even though the whole horror... time she was telling me to turn it off i was because she was too scared. i did i was like i don't want to watch this <laughs> i was like we don't need to do this but I mean, like, because there's plenty of horror movies that are like comforting and like fun to watch, and like, sure, they're creepy, but like, it's in a fun, creepy way. Yeah. And then there's movies like this and like Hereditary that I'm just like, why do I like horror? Like, why do I want to why why do I like I wanna do this to watch? myself? Just kidding. I know I like it. I don't like it. I love she's it. insane. Because I'm crazy. Crazy. So, Kyle Gallner, two good ones yes, in a row. Definitely. Thank you. Last year. Uh, Scream 6 and Smile. Smile was like top three yeah. of the year last year. Um, Scream, I'm not a Scream guy. I am a Scream but gal. I liked that movie. Uh, really the ending is really absolutely it. absurd in every way imaginable. But uh, keep at it, man. Yes. Doing good. Doing yeah, great we'll stuff. Horror. We'll so, or anything. Or but anything, but like horror. Would we're be biased. Cool. Yeah. They call me horror for the rest <laughs> of your career. <laughs> Anyways, and if uh, you want her to call you hot, go watch the other video, The Passenger. There you go. All right. All right, guys. Bye. Bye.